What's up guys? It's my first day home from the tug. Got the boat hooked up to the truck. We're gonna go out, do a little fishing. The weather's real nice. Uh, I don't even know what the tides are doing today, but we may get into some kingfish, make some fish dip, bull reds, I don't know. Uh, we're just gonna give, give it a shot going in blind. All right guys, so we barely got away from the boat ramp and B saw the birds diving before I did. And I believe we're on a school of bluefish. And since we wanted to make fish dip, we're not going to discriminate between bluefish and kingfish. Let's see if we can get one here. Here we go. Fish on. Come on. I didn't really have the right rod, but I had a little gotcha plug and I just grabbed it. And look at that. Woo! Nice bluefish. All right, B, you're up next. All righty. We switched to trolling now. Yep. Any second. Oh, fish on, B's up on the troll. B, remember when you get it close to the boat, just stop reeling and I'll help you get them in. Let's see, we got a good one. Rod tip up. Oh, we got a good one. Now just lift your rod tip up, let's see them. Oh, nice blue. All right, we got a nice size bluefish for Florida here. I'm surprised to see them this time of the year, but still a, uh, a nice surprise. and proof that you need to be ready for anything when you go fishing. They gotta be 12 inches in Florida. We'll fillet him and smoke him. There he is. Woo! Immediately on. Oh, <laughs> Let's go. Okay. You know when they pull drag on the 7500, they're probably a pretty good fish. Well, I'm gonna see. It's probably oh. the biggest one of the day. Stand back a little bit. All right. Let's see him. Woo! Boom. Smoke off. Do y'all see that? He's on. That's your, what, third one? All right. Flip him in the boat. Don't get the bimini. Oh. Uh oh. We got the bimini. We're going to have to cut. We got something floating here. I think it's a redfish somebody probably caught in the inlet and improperly released. I'm not sure, it might be a shark. All right, guys, we're still trying to save this red. It's a little tricky with just me and B. I'm gonna grab them here. All right. I've got the boat in gear. I'm gonna go ahead and hold him and move some water over his gills. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I'm holding his mouth open just a little. I got the boat in here. That's gonna push nice cool water over his gills. Come on, girl. I can feel it starting to bite my hand a little harder now, getting her strength back. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. You can do it. I can feel her. She's literally just biting my thumb now. Come on, girl. B, is there any boats in front of us? No, no boats. Come on, girl. There she goes. Woo! Like I said, it's super important. Those breeder redfish are the future of our redfish fishery. And if you're fishing out in the inlet, it's important to make sure you revive those fish before you let them go. I'm glad we got that one. I wish I brought a lighter rod with me. We're way over gun with these rods and reels. These are the ones we use for bull reds. Oh, we just saw the boat. There he is. Back up a little bit so I don't get you with the hook. One more for the smoker. Right. Let me show you guys this. 
that bluefish just spit this little bait out and that's what they're here feeding on is schools of these little bait and they're all fired up and luckily i had a gotcha plug which pretty much imitates one of those perfectly all right guys that's our sixth fish and i'm glad that i stopped and checked the fish rules out because i thought it was five but it's three per person and me and bianca got our limit of bluefish they're not monsters like up in new jersey but for florida in the summertime them are some nice blues and they're gonna make some really nice fish dip we'll see you guys at the smoker so i got my bluefish here i'm gonna fillet them for y'all uh check it out this is why they call it bluefish it's almost got a blue tint to the meat they're an oily fishy fish and they make perfect smoked fish dip and uh check out the chompers on that thing you do not want to get your finger in one of their mouths and i'm really surprised we were able to catch so many without using any wire this one looks like maybe he was in a net at one point in his life and got out but uh he ended up in my cooler so here we go just like any fish you're gonna come through make your vertical cut behind the gill plate take the tip of your knife like this i like to hold it with my finger like that come right down his backbone when you get to the bottom through and out and i'll turn it around like this so y'all can see knife in there come down one more time angle up for those pin bones then down and just keep on pulling that fillet right off the bones come out there you go do the other side same thing come right down that uh back side through come up get your thumb under there pop those pin bones and take everything right on down just like that Whoop. one uh perfect fillet no meat left there man it is hot outside right now but we got our bluefish filleted up and i'm gonna brine this before i smoke it now you don't have to brine it to smoke it i could throw that on there and smoke it and it would be okay but if you brine your fish before smoking i believe you get a superior product uh, what i have here is two quarts of water a uh, half gallon if, if you like that uh nomenclature this is light brown sugar i prefer regular brown sugar but we didn't have it garlic powder cayenne that i just eyeballed and a quarter cup of sea salt we're gonna go into our water with that and we're also gonna add the juice of a lime a lime a lemon it's like that's a lemon <laughs> i'm just keeping you guys okay. on your toes uh so then go ahead in here and stir that really good stirring 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 um i also i like to go maybe a cup less on the water because i'm going to add ice to this and you're going to see why in a second keep stirring are you make... are you trying to dissolve it i am trying to dissolve the salt in the water that's what i was wondering i mean i'm glad bill nye showed up to the uh... <laughs> well other people might wonder too well no no that's a good question <laughs> bill nye anyways um so that's all dissolved we're gonna go ahead and go in with our filleted bluefish now you're gonna notice i left the skin on i like to leave the skin on when i smoke fish but uh that's all gonna go in there and then what we're gonna do is add some ice to just get that temperature down i'm hoping i got a good amount of ice here because i took all this out earlier to put into a cooler so Luckily, it looks like it ran a couple of cycles. Top that up with some ice, and I'm going to refrigerate this overnight. We'll see you guys out at the smoker tomorrow. So I brined the bluefish fillets overnight in my brine. I pulled them out, 
and rinsed them off real quick and then dried them off with paper towels. Then I put them on this wire rack and I let them dry off and you're forming what's called a pellicle, pellicle? Someone will probably correct me, but basically you want the surface of the fish to not be wet anymore and almost be like tacky. Um, and it helps, I actually put a fan on mine. I think these probably been sitting out maybe an hour and a half, uh, but we're gonna go ahead, go out to the Traeger, put them on there to smoke. I got the Traeger set at 165. I'm trying out this little extra smoke tube thing that I've never done before. But honestly, the Traeger does not make as much smoke as I personally like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go on. You don't want to crowd your fish on there. You want room for the air to move all around and that smoke to get all over it. I imagine this is gonna take at least two hours, maybe as much as four, but it's just one of those things we're gonna have to watch. All right, I'm gonna do a two hour check. Let's see what we working with here. Well, they starting to look good. <laughs> so I just dropped the <laughs> lid to the Traeger on my phone. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> looking pretty good. I might do maybe 30 more minutes on these, get a little bit more color on them. You can see how fatty uh, that bluefish is. Of course, mullet's over there, ruining the clip. <laughs> I pulled my fish off the smoker. It ended up going two and a half hours. Look at how beautiful that is delicious um what i'm doing now is i'm gonna pick it to make my fish dip the only thing you got to look for when you're when you're picking it apart is getting the pin bones out which you pretty much just pull it off like that and then pull your little shreds and now we could definitely eat it just like this it's very good and i may save some for that but we are making fish dip for this video and I'm gonna share my secret recipe with you guys. So the fish is all shredded up here. We're gonna go ahead and make our fish dip. I feel like I've been making this video for three days because I have been making this video for three days. Uh, so if one of your friends ever makes fish dip and gives it to you, they really love you because it is a labor of love. Um, what we're gonna do is add some of our fish pieces here and see this is going to be enough for probably two batches in this machine so about that much it's going to get loud here we'll just pulse that give it a rough chop. Now, some people say, oh, I like bigger chunks in my fish dip, and that's great, I just don't. Um, then we're gonna go in with eight ounces of softened cream cheese. It helps if you cut it up in little chunks like that. I might have put a little bit too much fish in this one. Then eight ounces of sour cream. So that's gonna be half this container. Like 
that. Then what I like to do is everybody likes jalapeno slices on their smoked fish dip. I thought, why not just put them in there? So get you a couple scoops of those and just a touch of that brine out of there. Some Worcester sister sauce. <laughs> couple good shakes of that and then I'm using my buddy's blackening seasoning chef John white he sent me this he doesn't actually sell it he made it uh, for friends and family but you could use any blackening seasoning or you could use Old Bay or even some Cajun seasoning um, it's really up to you and then last I like to put a squeeze of lemon or lime in mine and what's cool about smoked fish dip is you could use this basic recipe of cream cheese and sour cream, Worcestershire sauce, and a little bit of seasoning. And you could add onion if you like onion in yours, or you know, really anything. You could add celery if you like celery in yours. This is just how me and my family like it. And I have never had a person ever tell me it wasn't good. Just let that go and combine for a little while. Sometimes you gotta stop, take your spatula, just push things around in there. And I call it fish dip, but the consistency I like is really more of a spread. So we'll go one more time here. Look at that. Get us a little tester piece. Oh, I broke my cracker. That <laughs> means that it's thick, thick. I want it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is really good. Get one for my camera lady. All right, guys. Right, so good. that's the video. I will show you. Ah, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. I got it. Oh yeah. Um, I ordered these off Amazon and I fill them up because there's no way we can eat all this fish dip. And then I give it to my friends and family, people I love. Mm -hmm. um, so, that's it for this video. Now, please, if you made it this far, like, subscribe, comment. Um, that way I can keep doing these videos for you guys. Right now, I'm just making them on my iPhone and uh, trying to video stuff that we love doing. Um, and I hope you guys like it. If, if you keep subscribing, maybe I'll get a, a GoPro or two and the videos will get better. <laughs> get but uh, I wanted to say thank you. Bye.